So last weekend, we had a very unfortunate chain of events that unfolded in our home. Um, my dog, Smokey, had to be let outside to go to the bathroom at 4.30 a.m. And unbeknownst to my husband, there was actually a skunk outside. And our poor pupper got sprayed by this awful, awful animal. And um, my husband wasn't really sure what to do. So we actually ended up letting her in the house, which is like... The worst thing you can do if your dog ever gets sprayed by a skunk, you do not let them in your home. Like that smell is so potent. Um, but we were just like panicked in the moment. It was dark outside. There was this animal in our yard. So anyway, we let her in and as a result, literally everything in our home just reeked for basically the next week. Like it's been about a week now and the smell is still in our home. We've gone through everything. Like we've taken the steam vacuum to all of the upholstery in our house, like all of our area rugs, our couch, our mattress. I have washed all of our bedding. I washed the slip covers on our chairs. Now, the other thing that I was hoping I wouldn't have to wash, but inevitably we have had to do, was actually wash every single piece of clothing in our home. So with that process, I have thought it's probably a good idea to go through everything once it's washed and clean and just determine what I wanna donate and what I wanna keep. Previously to the incident, I already had actually completed a big thrift haul for some fall sweaters. So it's unfortunate that it happened, but in fact, it is good timing, just the change of season and the fact that I do have some new arrivals that I am bringing into my closet anyway. So with that being said, I thought it would be really fun to take you along on the journey. I wanna start off by showing you some of the new arrivals that I'm adding into my closet. And then I thought we could go through some of the items I'm actually going to be donating. Now I have been thinking because I am pretty good at what I do when it comes to thrifting. I actually might not just donate everything in my closet. I think I might try my hand at actually selling some of my items on Facebook Marketplace. Um, again, I just think I find some pretty cool thrift finds and some good quality pieces. So I actually want to see if I can make some money back by selling these on Facebook Marketplace um, and then of course donating what I don't sell. So majority of what I actually thrifted was knitwear. I have found in the past I've gone out and splurged so much money on new fall sweaters and it's just one of those things even if you're being really careful with the actual materials that are going into the sweaters I still find even if it's wool it ends up shrinking if it's polyester it ends up pilling there's just so many different types of knitwear and I just find they do not all wear the same and they definitely don't hold up. Even if you do spend hundreds of dollars on a real wool sweater, I just find for some reason there will be some way that it's going to go wrong. So just as a general rule, I prefer to thrift my knitwear. I just find this way I know somebody else has owned it and if any mistakes have happened, it's been on their dollar and not mine. But with that being said, I do find one thing when it comes to knitwear is you do have to have a solid pair of jeans to wear with a nice sweater. Um, and this is something I have been lacking in my wardrobe. So I did go out and purchase new denim. So I thought it might be fun while I'm trying on some of my thrifted sweaters. I'm also going to be trying on some of these new pairs of jeans and then just seeing what outfits I like, what denim I like, what sweaters I like, and then I can return the ones that I don't want to wear. Okay, so here's the first sweater and first pair of jeans. I have been looking for a really great darker pair of jeans. I'm really happy with these ones. I think the reason why I have a hard time with jeans sometimes is they're either really high or just too low. So I feel like these are the perfect rise. They're almost like a low high rise jean, if that makes sense. I guess maybe they're a mid rise jean. But anyway, I also really like how they're tight up here and then they flare out nicely at the bottom without looking bell bottomy a lot of the long jeans that i have right now are a little bit more where they're like tight around your thigh and then they flare out around your knee and i just feel like that's not the style and then this sweater is just such a beautiful thrift find i really like the ruffle around the top i like the ruffle around the sleeves as well as the tie 
And I think one of the reasons I wanted a darker wash pair of jeans was I just don't always love the way a blue jean looks with something that's a little bit more black up top. So I think this is just a really nice pairing with the gray wash and then something like a black sweater. This was also one of my latest thrift finds. This one, I will say, still had the tag still on it. So it's a really cute vest. I've worn it a couple times just with a long sleeve un underneath. And I think it's just a great layering piece. So these jeans are a similar cut to the previous pair. I do feel like they're a little bit baggier and they actually come with this tie belt. I'm not sure how I feel about it. Um, it's a little bit more casual. I will say it is convenient because I don't have a lot of belts. So this is kind of nice because then it's obviously built in. So this sweater I did thrift. I just love having a long, almost like house coat sweater to wear around the house. I did see a TikTok recently that said long cardigans are out for some reason, but I don't know. I feel like they're classic. I feel like it's very coastal granddaughter. So this would be just a little bit more casual way, I think, of wearing both of these pieces. That TikTok I saw also said that wrap cardigans are out. So I don't know, maybe when you thrift your clothes, you're always going to be a season behind. But I think that this cardigan is still pretty chic. I feel like with a nice pair of boots, it's also a nice way of making this outfit just a little bit more dressy, but it's still the same kind of concept. And then I feel like with a longer sweater, you're not even going to see the drawstring anyway. So I don't know. I think I'm going to keep these pants. I like how the long they are. So when you do wear them with a boot or with a platform, it does kind of still give you that long leg effect. One thing I will say about the wrap cardigan is it is from H&M. Generally, a rule of mine is that I don't purchase any um, secondhand items from H&M. I just still feel like they don't hold up very well. This one, I will say, I felt like it was pretty lightly used. There's a little bit of pilling. Um, and I just have been looking for a silhouette that's kind of like this, just a nice wrap sweater. I feel like it's really comfortable. It's really elegant. So I did break my rule for this sweater. Hopefully I don't regret it. So I have been looking to add just a little bit more fun and personality into my wardrobe. When I saw these striped Levi jeans, I felt like these would just do the trick. Um, but I also want to be mindful that I don't want to buy something just for the idea that, oh, I, I want more color or I want more pattern in my wardrobe. I want them to truly be pieces I'm going to reach for regardless if they're fun or not. So I do think I'm not going to take the tags off these just yet. I want to see how many times I actually go to reach for them in my closet before I just decide that, yes, this is exactly something that I need. I will say this was actually one of my favorite thrifted sweaters that I found. Um, again, with that damn TikTok, they did say that bat wing sweaters were out. So you can see this has a bit of a bat wing to it. So I don't know. Again, maybe this one's out of season. Also, here they are with the sweater untucked. Maybe this is just a little bit better way of styling it. It's a little bit more casual. It's pretty cute. Again, I feel like it's giving coastal granddaughter. Um, and it's fall and winter, but it almost feels just a little bit more lively than your typical uh, fall winter fashion. Okay, so basically the exact same outfit as before, but these jeans are a little bit more of like a balloon jean. You can see they're tapered on the bottom. I do really like these jeans. I think they work really well with the platform slides. Um, I will say though, for fall and winter, they are just like a little bit high. Even if you did have a longer sock on, I feel like you might be just a little bit cold on your ankles. I live in Canada, so it gets really cold here. These may not be my go-to jeans for a minus 25 degree Celsius day, but they are pretty fun. I do like them. Now, I have been resisting the urge to jump on the dress pant bandwagon, uh, but I will say I found these ones on sale. They were $24 at Winners, so I did pick them up. Again, I'll see if I actually end up wearing them or if I'm going to return them. They are a nice alternative to jeans when you do work in an office. These really do just feel kind of like wearing a pajama pant, so they're really comfortable. One of the reasons I have gone this long without buying a pair 
pair of dress pants is I just feel like this is going to be one of those trends that does go by the wayside in a few years. So again, I don't know if I'm just okay with them because they're trendy right now and I know they're fashionable or if I actually feel like this is the type of outfit I want to add into my wardrobe. Okay, maybe I don't hate them. I do feel like this is just a little bit more my way of wearing a pant like this. I just like when they feel a little bit more flowy and not so dress pant. Um, and I think it's a nice way of doing it with just a little bit more of a flowy top on. This sweater I did not thrift. I actually purchased this one new last year. Um, so this is one of the sweaters that did hold up. Again, this was probably from Winners. It was probably like a $40 sweater. Um, so that's what I'm saying. It doesn't matter how much money you spend. It's always hit or miss on what sweaters are actually going to make it through season after season. So this thrifted sweater, I was super excited about when I saw it in the store. I always try everything on in the thrift store when I do go. Um, I'm one of those crazy people who's standing in front of the mirror just trying on item after item. Um, but this one I really loved when I was in the store. I just wasn't sure what jeans I was going to wear with them. And then when I got home, I was feeling quite defeated because I didn't love it with any of my jeans. And I feel like it's because I was envisioning more of a jean like this, like a sailor pant with the front pockets, high waisted. Um, so I feel like now I'm in love with it again. This is exactly the type of outfit I would wear it with. So I'm pretty sure this is actually a wool sweater. It did still have the tags on. Um, and when I look at the tag, it actually says dry clean only or hand wash. So this is an item. I'm also kind of concerned the fact that it's white and then it has the um, red stripes on. So I just kind of feel like this is a sweater I'm only going to wear um, like an actual t-shirt in so that I can get a few wears out of it without having to go and take it to get dry cleaned. And I almost forgot, I also thrifted this cute red jacket. I kind of feel like Paddington Bear in this outfit, um, but it is just really sweet. It's got these fun little pockets on the front. Um, also the arm details are nice as well. You can see it's got kind of a slope to it, just a bit of an angle on the actual hand itself. This denim shirt I was so excited by when I found because it is lined on the inside with more of a checkered flannel. Um, it's so comfortable. It's just so cute. I like that the flannel is even at the back of the neck as well. So if you do ever want to pop up your collar, it's got that fun little pop of red there. And same thing with the sleeves. When you do roll up the sleeves, there is just a nice pop of red there as well. So this is actually just a really fun UCLA sweater that I thrifted. It's just not a super thick sweater. It's just kind of like a nice light sweater to throw on on a fall day with a pair of jeans. Um, these jeans, again, I will say, I'm not sure if I'm going to keep them. This is what I was saying about a jean that hits you just at the top of your foot. Sometimes I feel like it just shows a little bit too much of your shoe, where a longer jean really can just elongate your legs and not feel like they're so stumpy. Um, so yeah, I don't know. I'll have to think about these ones for sure, but this is kind of the type of outfit I had envisioned for this sweater here. Okay, so I was probably the most excited about this skirt. I have been looking for a long denim skirt for a while now. I just wanted one that felt a little bit different than everybody else has. Um, I know it's been really popular for a while, but this has been an item I have wanted to add into my closet even long before um, long denim skirts did become super trendy, but I wanted one that almost looked kind of vintage-y. So I like that this one has a slit on both sides and it does have this cute little drawstring belt that comes around the front. So I love that. It's actually a Calvin Klein skirt. So it's interesting that I purchased this new, even though I do feel like this almost looks like an item that you could have thrifted. Here's one of my more cozier thrift finds. I just think it's so nice to have sweaters in a variety of knits. So this is just a little bit chunkier of a knit. 
This is actually an American Eagle sweater. Um, and I do have another green sweater that I thrifted that's actually an airy sweater. So I don't know, I feel like that brand in particular just actually comes out with some decent knitwear um, and just really fun styles. Like I just like how this puffs out um, on the sleeves. And then I do love the bottom wherever you can um, tuck it in or just kind of flip it under. That's always nice as well. So this is my other green sweater that I thrifted. This one's from Aerie. It does just have a really deep V in the front. So I do think this sweater would be really nice to actually wear with maybe like a white turtleneck or something that's a little bit higher um, underneath it. So I do think it'll be fun to layer. And then speaking of green sweaters, this is probably one of my favorite thrift finds of all time. There is no actual tag on this sweater, which does make me wonder if somebody made this one by hand. It really could be, like the quality of it is pretty nice and it really does almost feel like it is handmade. I don't know, maybe it's a, a Shein sweater, maybe it's from H&M, I have no idea. Like I said, there's no actual tag on it, um, but I think it's going to be really fun to wear throughout the fall and winter. And this is what I meant when I said I wanted to add more character and personality into my closet. It's pieces like this that I really feel um, they're comfortable, they're stylish, but it just has a little bit different of a pop to it. And I feel like it's not something that you see everybody wearing. Okay, now I may be just a little bit too obsessed with the coastal granddaughter aesthetic, but when I saw this sweater, I just knew I had to have it. I love this detail with the pockets, um, as well as the hood on the back. And I am just a sucker for a classic cream knitwear. Um, and then I love the details around the arms as well. So this I think is going to be one of my fall and winter staples. And you can never just have too many zip ups either. It's just like a perfect sweater to just throw on over a t-shirt or under over an undershirt. Um, and I think it works really well with these gray jeans as well. And this is just a little bit more of a casual way of wearing them. And then my last thrift find, but certainly not least, is actually this wool jacket. I love this dark maroon color. It's just like a perfect, almost like Merlot red. Um, it's kind of a wrap jacket and it's pretty light. I always feel like a lot of my outerwear is meant for really heavy duty winter wear. Um, but I will say having just a thinner jacket does make it easier to layer over some thicker sweaters um, and still keep you pretty warm. So the basics for me when it comes to organizing my wardrobe is I do like to do this twice a year, once in the spring and then once in the fall. Um, generally what I do because I do have such a small home and just a small, a limited amount of closet space is I will pack away my summer clothes and then reintroduce some of the fall items that I've been keeping in storage. This is also just a great opportunity for me to review the ways in which I am storing my clothing um, and just determine if it's the proper or the most productive way of storing certain items. I will say because I have an overflow of knitwear and sweaters, I do know the best way to store these is actually by folding them instead of hanging them on hangers. So I did trade my husband some of our closet space, like I traded him some of my hanging space for some of his cubbies. This way I could actually store all of my sweaters folded up um, and just tucked away neatly in these cubbies. And then I did color coordinate them. So I've got majority of my sweaters are in kind of just a classic white or cream. So I've used that as one of the cubbies. The middle cubby I used for all of my colorful sweaters. And then up top is more of my neutrals. So things like browns, grays, and blacks I'm storing in that upper cubby. And then because I did trade him at this hanging space, that only left me with one small row of hanging items in my closet. So I also opted to fold up my jeans and put them in my remaining cubby. I have been liking the way this has been working. Um, generally, I am pretty neat when it does come to folding jeans. That way there's no creases and you don't have to iron your jeans. Throughout the process of cleaning out my closet, I was also trying to be diligent on what items I wanted to keep and what items I wanted to donate. I think throughout the process 
process, I ended up with about two full garbage bags of donations. And then from there, I was also trying to be diligent of what items I wanted to try my hand at selling on Facebook Marketplace. Some of the items that I determined I'm going to try my hand at reselling are things like denim jeans and other pants. I do find these usually hold up really well. And a lot of my jeans I've had for a while, but I actually haven't worn them a whole lot. So they are in really good shape. Um, generally, when it comes to bottoms for me, it's just I buy a pair, I think they look good. And in the end, they just don't fit me correctly, but they could fit somebody else nicely. And because they're in great shape, I am going to try and resell them. I also felt this summer that I had a giant influx of just basic white button up shirts. Um, so I do know this is something in my closet I have way too many options for. And because of that, I just don't end up wearing all of them. So I am going to try to resell some of these just basic white button ups. I've got some long sleeve options. I've got some short sleeve options. And then I do have a couple of options that do have a stripe or a pattern to them. So they're beautiful shirts. I do love them. I just have way too many of them to wear currently. And then because I do have such limited closet space, there were a couple of sweaters that I found were just too bulky when they were hanging up in my closet um, or they just didn't fit in the cubby. And if I'm not going to be able to fit it in my closet and I just don't wear it that often, it's not something that I'm going to keep around in my closet in the long haul. So some of those I'm choosing to resell as well. I also picked up this really cute quilted jacket a few months ago. It was $6 at the thrift store. When I tried it on, I knew it was a little bit too big, but I thought, ah, what the heck, I'll just try it out. Um, but unfortunately it is too big. I don't like how it looks. Um, I've just never actually worn it out of the house. So this is an item, again, I purchased for $6. I'm going to try and resell it um, because it is a very nice item. It was such a steal when I found it. And then because we're moving into fall and golf season is over, I do find in my closet, I do have some really nice golf apparel that either I didn't get around to wearing last season and I just know myself, I just know probably next season, I'm not really going to wanna wear it either. So I thought, why not just try Try and resell it now it's in great shape I've only worn some of these items a handful of times um, so again I think these will be nice items to actually put on the resale market so that's it for this fall and winter closet refresh if you like this video be sure to let me know in the comments and don't forget to give it a thumbs up and if you haven't already be sure to subscribe to my youtube channel as well thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video